Hello, hello. Welcome to the channel. My name's Nobby. Thank you for tuning in to episode 45 of our Path of Exile beginner's playthrough in the Affliction League. We are playing Zizarin's Bone Shatter Slayer. We are level 70. I've just realised in the foothills there is still a quest to go up here. So I think we're going to go back there. Now, the other problem is... I've not got the waypoint either. Naughty, naughty. Right. Let's head back to the foothills. We've done the trial. We can get back to this end of the tunnels by this waypoint, so that's fine. Let's get back to the foothills then. Which is this way. Again, apologies that I can't give you more information on the Syndicate League. It's one of those that I never played and don't fully understand myself. I have seen lots of Google videos about me maxing it when it was the League. Um, all I know at the beginner stage is it's good for crafting recipes. <laughs> right. In here somewhere, apparently, there's another way to go. And there's a waypoint. Let's see if we can skirt around the edge and find it. Uh, corrupted mask. Nah, we'll take it to sell for now, I suppose. I should also remember to pop Blood Rage, shouldn't I? I keep forgetting that. It's this one here. Every time we hit something, it resets. And it should last us the whole zone. As long as you're killing stuff. We have... It's reset, and we still have another another Val zone in here, so <laughs> we may as well. It's not the same one we've done. Don't worry, it's a different one. <laughs> the zone has reset, so it's definitely a different one. Take the gloves. That belt plus 37. Mm, okay. Might be worth picking up at plus 37. You never know. It's probably worth an alchemy orb anyway. See what it uh, see what it gives. In fact, we can probably use... Uh, we've got a few essences now, haven't we? Uh, orb of binding we shall take. Two stone ring is only plus 13. Uh, Volcanic Fisher. We'll take the Corrupted Helm, I suppose. Right. Back into the foothills. Back to skirting the edges. <laughs> How many of these can we take? Plus 13 again. Not really good. Superior flask, we shall take for the quality swap. Uh, let's head this way a little bit now. Right, there's definitely nothing else up there. Where is this other exit? More importantly, where's the flipping waypoint? There's the waypoint. Right, okay. Is that the one? Must be. Boiling Lake. Yes, this is the way. Right. So in here, we are looking for the Basilisk Acid, I think it is. We also have more Alva, looks like. Yep, new incursion. So we've now got 12 attempts again to reshape another temple. Again, killing the bosses. Well, 
we'll change the rooms. Let me just clear around and then we might be able to actually have a look. Let's have a look. So we kill this boss, increase monster pack size, or monsters throughout the temple have increased area of effect and adds traps throughout the temple. We'd want to unlock this door to the pits if we get a green key. Let's jump in. 10 second run around. So that's the door we want to try and unlock if we can. Sixteen seconds. You can guarantee the key. There's the key. I'm gonna say we'll be right at the other end of the temple. Okay, let's go get this door. There we go. Alright, that's all we need to do. Let's kill as much as we can. See if we can fill the bar before the timer runs out on us. Almost. Almost. There we go. We have unlocked that door. Excellent. That's what we wanted from that one. Um, nothing worth picking up. Here is two of three. So we're going into the flame workshop. Uh, increase the speed of monsters. Upgrades one random adjacent and connected room. Or additional fire damage. Additional fire monsters. And augments the Omnitect with fire. Omnitect being the boss at the end, if you remember. All right. There's a stone straight away. We'll go and unlock a door. Lovely. That was nice and quick. Kill one of the two bosses. There we go. Lots of locked doors in this one. I wouldn't mind another key before we run out of time. Maybe. Or maybe not, as the case may be. Nope, that'll do us. Okay. Good job, Exile. Uh, a bit of currency we'll take. So we've got one more Alva in this zone somewhere. I believe in traveling light. We are also full. Now, the mini boss of this zone is usually up the top here. Chance orbs. Here she is, and the crafting recipe as well. There we go. I need to drop something to be able to pick it up, typically. Uh, spell damage. All right. No good for us. That's the quest item, though. So we can just portal back to town. We'll do a cell, and then we can portal straight back into the tunnel. We've done the trial. Anything you need, just... Anything worth looking at? Uh, 78 max life. Cold and lightning resist. Armor's 353. Not bad. We'd lose a bit of lightning resist, but we'd get a load of cold. Max life is big. Armor, we'd lose a bit. It is the right setup, though. The belt, 
37 max life. Again, might be worth an alk. See if it rolls anything nice. Bye. Get rid of all the currencies. Uh, cold resist, stun duration, strength, energy, mana. Ours has got mana. It's got more life. So, unfortunately not. We can still craft something onto this. It is still good with all the other skills. We're not losing anything. Um, how are defences? Okay, it does round off a little bit better. We're just light on fire resist, although we are capped. Let's go see. Talk to Sin quickly. He wants us to find a powder. Let's go and have a look at the crafting bench. See what we can put on this helm. Uh, we can put mana. We can put more armor on it. I can't put any more resists on it. Uh, its armor is okay. But we could give it percentage armor. Uh, max mana might be alright as well, to be fair. Because I do know with all three, we're sort of right on the limit. I'll tell you what, we'll take that. We'll take that for now. That might just help. Hello. Sanity check, all the skills, we're all okay. We've got no red background, so we can safely sell that one. That's superior, we do want to keep that. There we go. Okay. And we can go back to the tunnel now. Make sure everything's activated. All right, it gives us a little bit more. <laughs> 37. Not a great deal. But it's more than we had. Level 71. Fantastic. All right, we're leveling up fairly quick in this act, aren't we? Nice. The XP is good. My spirit is spent. There we go. Uh, the quarry. Right. Okay. Skill point, skill point, skill point. Where are you going? We are heading... Dex 1, Dex 2, Dex 3. Oh, well, that'd be good. We want a bit of Dex in the build. We'll take that. Okay. And then we'll head down towards the uh, Life and Mana Leech. Right, the quarry. There is an optional in here to kill. Uh, the powder is also in here. Or the zone for the powder. There's about two exits out of here, I think. There's also a waypoint in here in the middle somewhere. I'm going to go this top end first. This is usually where the powder is. We have a yellow strong box to open. That froze me for a little bit. Those lightning storms are rude. Really rude. Right. Uh, oh, no. She's on this side this time. This is the optional boss. Just try and keep out of the little tornadoes she's throwing around. They do hurt. Try and let your totems do most of the grunt work.
There we go. Okie doke. Take the feather. Pick up some goodies. I believe in traveling light. You were too beautiful for this ugly world. I should choose you to. There we are. I believe that is one that it does recommend for this build, so we'll take that one for now. In fact, let's have a look, shall we? We've unlocked most of them now, so let's have a look at notes. Uh, yeah, Garakan until shock effect implicit, then swap to Ralakesh. Ralakesh, Ralakesh, Ralakesh. Uh, reduced physical damage over time while moving. Moving while bleeding doesn't cause you to take extra damage. All right, we're sort of okay. I've always kept a bleed flask on me. So we'll take the Garakan one. Okie doke. Back into the quarry. Let's cut across the middle then. We'll get the waypoint and go and do a cell. Okay, that will be unique quiver. No good for us. That would have been nice on the previous playthrough, wouldn't it? Uh, right, we'll get rid of that axe. That just got picked up by a misclick, obviously. Iron ring. Orb of regrets you want. They're good for your passive skill refunds. Which we'll need soon, anyway. If we're going to redo that tree. Uh, right. Eternal life flask. Still looking for the waypoint. <laughs> Not found it yet. Let's keep going. What are we on? 18 minutes. We're doing all right. Here he is. All right. Let's go do a quick salt and then we'll go and get the uh, the powder that we need. Not since the skill book, skill book, skill book. Let me just move that. I can take that now. Do a cell. Uh, armor, fire resist, movement speed. Everything's fire resist. Projectile speed, dex, cast speed, max life, lightning resist, chance to avoid being stunned. That's not a bad quiver, is it? Uh, evasion, max life, fire resist. Unfortunately, I'm looking for armor, really. Max life is rubbish. Uh, that max life is quite nice. 14 to all resistances. Hmm. Will that do? I'm thinking replacing the bottom one. We'd lose int and a bit of dex. Mana per enemy killed would be nice. 14 to all resistances. Well, that helps because we're going to lose some cold, but we're going to get 14 to all. Um, what's my other option? I can replace the top one, but we're actually losing life. Okay, let's see what happens with that, possibly. We lose... 
Yeah. I lose Dex. For Blood Rage. And I, I lose... Yeah, I can't do it. Right, okay. That'll be a no, then. Close, but no cigar. Uh, increased charges per use. 30% increased amount recovered on a life flask. 24 over 2.1. 27 over 2. Uh, consumes 18 of 45. No, we get three uses out of that one. Right. Okay, that'll be a no, and that'll be a no. Yes. That was a shame. Take care. There we are. Right. Okay. Skill point, skill point, skill point. We are going down here for life and mana leech, so we'll take Dex there. What have you got for me? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Uh, talk to Pataras and Vanja for your reward. Oh, that was the passive respects, wasn't it? Right, okay. We'll take those. We are done. Into the quarry. We want to go and do that one that was up to the north, wasn't it? Go and get the powder. Oh, there's a crafting recipe there. Let's go get that. Fizz damage rank three. That could come in handy. Certainly for this build anyway. take a few goodies now I think uh, leather belt 29 leather belt 31 not quite there if they were 40s worth a look at two stone ring 16s mm, fire and lightning might be worth a look at okay refinery here we go here my spirit is spent don't worry I've got a flask for that <laughs> Hence why I always keep... I'm still carrying a mana flask. I always carry a mana flask. A life flask and a mana flask. At least one of each. There will come a time when we might get lucky with utilities and we don't actually need them. There we go. You were nice and quick. Right, we can literally portal back to town, portal into the quarry, talk to Sin, and that will open up the next bit, and then we're into the belly of the beast again, I think. And so my belly stands. Yep, we are indeed. Okay, back to town, let's do a sell. So we are getting close. We've smashed through Act 9 this last couple of episodes. I'm happy with that. I do want to get towards end game now, to be fair. The last playthrough, it was 51 episodes. I think it's going to be about the same again. <laughs> uh, right, anything, anything. 23 max life, absolutely not. Uh, no life, no resists. Weapons that we can't use. Helm, no. Nope. Two stone ring. Take care. Again, another one for an alk. 
fire resist, lightning resist, it's got cold and lightning as well. Lightning damage to attacks doesn't help. Elemental damage with attacks is absolutely no good. A bit of energy shield, a bit of accuracy is all right, I suppose. Again, we can't afford to lose the int. And that's the multiple totems support gem that's causing that. And this one has got 56 max life, which this hasn't got any max life, unfortunately. Urgh. Resists are nice. It's an all-rounder. Oh, man. Tough, tough, tough. I'd love to get a few upgrades and a bit more life and things. Round off resistances. We are okay resistance wise though. Fire resist is a little low. Um, what can we do for you? No, is the answer with that one. See ya. Okie doke. Right, folks. <laughs> we are getting towards the end of Act 9. Belly of the Beast is where it's at. So thank you for watching. I do appreciate you taking the time to watch these videos. Again, if you are enjoying, as a lot of you are doing, please drop a thumbs up on the videos for me. It does help other people find them. If you're new around here, consider subscribing to the channel. I'd love you to come and join this little community. And I'll be back soon. Take care.